Are you wondering how to clone a YouTube channel with AI? In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use Notebook LM to clone any YouTube channel that you want in a matter of minutes, whether it's your own YouTube channel or it could be your favorite YouTubers like Alex Hermosi. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome, my name is Ryan and I help founders, executives, and creators use AI to scale content, build trust, and grow a personal brand online. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools, prompts, and even some automation templates, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for my free guide in the video description or pinned comment below. Now, when it comes to cloning your favorite YouTubers with AI like Alex Hermosi or whoever else, I'm not talking about creating a custom GPT or a project. Sure, this could be a good start, and yes, you can upload knowledge on the back end to train this GPT, but the problem is, is it's still extracting other references like OpenAI's training data, data from search engines, and not just the knowledge that you're uploading with this custom GPT. Versus Notebook LM, for instance, it's extracting data from only the resources that you provide on the left-hand side via YouTube videos, PDFs, links, or whatever other sources that you wanna to add to your notebook within Notebook LM. So I wanna say that first, that's the reason why it's important to use Notebook LM to clone your favorite YouTuber and not a GPT, for instance. So now I'm gonna walk through step-by-step -step how to clone a YouTube channel with AI, more specifically Notebook LM. And the very first step here is you need to go to notebooklm.google. You do need a free Google account in order for this to work. I will leave this website and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. Once you go into this website, click Try Notebook LM, and you should, and you probably won't have any notebooks ready to go like I do here. So you'll need to click create new notebook. I already had one created for this example. And then you will need to add one source here in order to create your notebook for the first time. I just renamed this Alex Hermosi YouTube clone. After you've created your first notebook with Notebook LM, there are a few Chrome extensions that we need to speed up this process. The first one being Grab It. I'll leave this link in the video description below. So go ahead and install that on your, you know, on your browser here. And then same with WebSync. That's another Chrome extension that we need. I'll leave this link in the description below as well. Go ahead and install this. And I recommend for the time being just pinning them up here where your extensions are. So once you have these Chrome extensions, you've created a new notebook within Notebook LM called Alex Hermosi YouTube Clone, the next step is we need to add all these sources to train this to be Alex Hermosi, to clone him. If I click add, first thing I wanna call out here is on a free plan of Notebook LM, you get a maximum of 50 sources. I believe on the Gemini Advanced Plus or Advanced, whatever it's called these days, I think you get 100 or 200 sources, don't quote me on that, but I know it's more than 50 on that $20 a month tier. So now let's go back to Alex Hermosi's channel. And up here where we click our Chrome extensions, the first thing that we need to do is we need to click grab it. And you should see a screen that looks like this. Go ahead and click more settings. We need to configure some things here. Now I already have this set up. I'm gonna delete it and show you from scratch. Now under the grab it settings, click add new action. And then here we're gonna set up our action to copy a lot of YouTube video URLs at once. So we're gonna click this option, select mouse button. I'm gonna do left click. For key, you can pick whatever you want. I'm just gonna do the option key on my Mac. For the box color, I'm gonna do something bright so I can see it easier, but you can do whatever you want here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do like a, let's do like a lime green. Let's do that. Select action type. This is a very important step. Copy URLs to clipboard. You have to have that enabled for this to work. Don't worry about advanced options. Go ahead and click save. And now our action is created. So now what we're going to do is pull up Alex Hermosi's YouTube channel. You can do latest videos, you can do most popular videos. I'm just gonna do the popular videos. And now what we wanna do is use that action that we just created with the Grab It Chrome extension. So I'm gonna hold down the option key on my keyboard, the left click button on my mouse. Notice this lime green box that starts to appear. And on the top right, you'll notice it says four URLs to be copied to clipboard. Now you can do as many as you want here. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy 12 URLs for this example. One quick tip I'd recommend is just creating a new Google doc to make sure that all of these URLs paste correctly. 
I'll be honest, the more URLs that you add to your clipboard, just the more margin for error there is with this process. So it did work correctly. The 12 YouTube URLs pasted. And so now what we want to do, let's go back to the Alex Hermosi's YouTube channel. Let's find that second Chrome extension that we installed called WebSync. So I'm going to click WebSync here. This is a full site and porter for Notebook LM. And then what you want to do here is it's going to ask to select from your notebook. So on the From URL List tab, go ahead and find that relevant notebook. Here it is Alex Hermosi YouTube clone. Then it says paste or drop URLs or any text with links. So I'm going to paste that and there are my 12 YouTube URLs. And then I'm going to click import video URLs. And now it's going to import those 12 YouTube videos automatically to that notebook within Notebook LM. I can open it if I want to. I'm not going to do that. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add more sources here. So I'm actually going to go by, let's scroll down and add a few more just so I can show you. And since we have a maximum of 50 sources in Notebook LM, we might as well. I'm going to hold down the option key and then let's go ahead and do these 12 videos. So I'm going to make sure those are copied to my clipboard. Let's delete the current ones in that Google Doc, paste it here come back to Hermosi's channel, click my WebSync Chrome extension, make sure I'm on the right notebook here, paste those new YouTube videos, click import URLs, and now it's going to import 12 additional YouTube videos. And once this is complete, let's give it a few seconds here, I can click open notebook, or I can come back to my notebook within Notebook LM, simply refresh it, and notice all of these sources are now available inside Notebook LM, 24 sources. And let's say you want to add even more sources in addition to YouTube videos. Well, in this example in particular, one thing that I thought would be very relevant to add to this notebook is obviously Alex Hermosi's latest book, 100 Million Money Models. So if you come to a site like oceanofpdf.com, you can get this PDF for free of the entire book. Come back to Notebook LM right here. Let's go back to Alex Hermosi's clone. Click Add. I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. Where is the click choose file? So it's saved on my desktop. And then here is that book right here. And then it went ahead and it's now uploading the entire PDF version of 100 million money models. All right, so our notebook is now full of 25 sources related to Alex Hermosi YouTube videos that are automatically transcribed within Notebook LM, including one of his books. You can add 25 more sources if you prefer. I'm, not, I'm just not going to do this for the simplicity of this example. Now let's actually make our clone in the chat bot here. So where it says start typing, I'm going to give it this official prompt, and I will leave this in the video description below as well. Act as a chat bot that perfectly mimics the voice, tone, and style of the video creator from these sources. Use their catchphrases, humors, values, and energy. Never break character, blah, blah, blah. You guys can read that in the description. I'm going to go ahead and click enter. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm telling Google Gemini within this Notebook LM chat to clone itself as Alex Hermosi. You can apply this to really any creator that you want to clone using Notebook LM. And after a few seconds, Google Gemini came up with this response here. So essentially what I'm doing with this prompt is I'm telling the chat bot to essentially clone this chat and become that YouTuber, which is Alex Hermosi in this case. What's really in unique and what I like about using Notebook LM for this particular task is again, it's pulling exact references versus referencing the internet or other third-party training data like you would get with OpenAI in a custom GPT. So notice how it has these citations here where it says if you're not getting more than what you put in, you're just wasting time, right? That's the whole game, leverage. Something that Alex Hermosi actually said in one of these YouTube videos that it's pulling from this transcript based on that source that I provided. Same with this one, same with this one. So it's actually telling me the exact YouTube video and source of where these certain quotes are coming from. But if you wanna take it a step further and start using this for content ideation, content creation, offers and funnels, in the case of Hermosi, we can then use these prompts as examples. And if you guys want access to this, let me know in the comments and I'll give you any prompts that you want. So if we come back to the chat bar here, I'm gonna minimize this, and you want, let's say you wanna get five YouTube video ideas that are SEO optimized and the hooks that have a good chance of getting a lot of views in Alex Hermosi's style. Click enter, and then let's see what it comes up with here. All right, so after a few seconds, it came up with five YouTube video ideas based on all of these sources here. And then this one says, let's see here, overcoming being broke and starting a business, 
dominating sales and marketing with leverage, master focus and productivity. And then it gives me an SEO optimized title. I actually like that one. And then it gives me a hook. And then it's giving references of how it got that hook from the particular source, like I just alluded to earlier. So these video ideas aren't bad. Obviously, if you were actually using these for your own channel, you would want to be more specific in this prompt of saying, you know, my channel focuses on AI and marketing, apply Hermosi style and make it relevant to my niche, right? Just things like that. But then let's say you want to do something different than content ideation. Well, we can click refresh, start a completely new chat. And now let's do something like content creation, generate 10 social media posts. I can use uh, no emojis, hashtags, make sure the content is valuable and in the style of Alex Hermosi. I always forget to put that at the end of the prompt here click enter, and then let's see what it comes up with here. All right, so here are just some quick examples of different social media content ideas. AI isn't here to replace you, it's here to supercharge you. The alternative, throw in the towel now, uh, blah, blah, blah. So basically in that Hermosi style, punchy to the point, serious, tells the truth. Easiest way to get rich in the AI revolution, leverage. AI will allow a single person to create a trillion dollar company, blah, blah, blah. And then it's pulling that reference of where it's getting it from, which is in this YouTube video. And then all these other, so I actually like these uh, related to AI and whatnot. I might actually use these for some of the ideation in my content creation, but I hope you guys see where I'm going with this and just giving you some very simple tasks or examples of using it for content ideation, both on a YouTube video side and also a social media side that sounds exactly like Alex Hermosi's style. All right, so lastly, I wanted to do a more advanced and specific example that's more related to Alex Hermosi's content or his latest book, $10 Million Money Models, talking about funnels and offers. And so in this example, I, I started a new chat. I gave it that initial prompt here, act as a chatbot that mimics the voice, tone, and style of this creator, which is Alex Hermosi. And then I gave it this prompt right here. I said, based on Alex Hermosi's $10 Million Money Models book, help build an offer and funnel for my business. And then I gave it information about what my business is, which is called the AI Authority Accelerator, which is a new program I'll be launching soon, by the way. And I gave it all this information about what I'm offering. And I want feedback from Hermosi itself and his latest book. And there's all sorts of information. This is almost overwhelming. So maybe I would come back and say, condense it, make it easier to follow, stuff like that. But just looking at it from the first time here, a lot of good information, crafting your unstoppable offer, the what and the how. And so, you know, I'm not going to read through all this and whatnot, but what I want to point out are these sources again. So if I hover over this, this is extracting an exact nugget from his book. And if I click it, it's going to pull up that book on the left-hand side, and it's actually going to bold where it's getting that advice from. So it says your offer at its core needs to be so good. People feel stupid saying no. And then it's actually showing me where in that book that it's getting that advice from Alex Hermosi. We could apply the same thing to all of these other points. Time delay. If I click this, it's going to pull in from the YouTube video. Um, it's going to pull in from other sources here, but you guys get the point of you can actually look very granular of where it's getting that data point in terms of advice here. And again, this is a very long answer, but I just wanted to show you something a little more complex that you can do with this clone inside Notebook LM. So that's my tutorial on how to clone a YouTube channel with AI using Notebook LM. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly do appreciate you. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you found value here. Also, leave me a comment below. I really like to hear what you guys have to say on these several AI topics. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.